Hi, and welcome to the Mount Vernon vlog. My name is Ethan. I am the digital storyteller here at George Washington's Mount Vernon. And today we have a really special vlog for you. So recently I went on vacation to London, England. And while I was there, I went and visited a very special site. Before I went, my colleagues had told me about a house that was apparently where George Washington's ancestors had lived and then left to come move to America. I had never heard of this place. It's called Soulgrave Manor. I made it one of my missions that when I was in London, I'd go visit it. It's just in the north in Northamptonshire, about an hour and a half away. Even George Washington was unclear where he had come, come from and he was once asked where his family was from. And I have a quote here to read to you of what Washington had said. I have often heard others of the family older than myself say that our ancestors came from some one of the northern co counties of England, but which one I do not precisely remember. I was really curious to go check this place out. So here's my vlog about my trip to London and also um, Soulgrave Manor. I hope you enjoy. After landing in London, I hit the sights. Also on my list of sites to visit was the Benjamin Franklin House. You can walk the same stairs he did and see the rooms where he studied the arts and sciences. While he lived here, Franklin acted primarily as an American diplomat before the Revolutionary War as tension began to build. It's a cool little piece of history that not that many know about and I highly recommend you visit. My boss, uh, George Washington. Funny, I was not expecting to come across this item in, of all places, London, England, but I heard about this. There was a rumor, rumblings in the underground, that there was indeed a statue of George Washington in London. Had to see it to believe it, and it turns out was, this guy behind me was arrested in 1921. Uh, in, in London. Apparently George Washington once stated that he would never ever step foot on British soil and sure enough the soil that this statue is buried on top of is actually from Virginia which is pretty cool. Several pies and pints later I made my way north to visit Soulgrave Manor in Northamptonshire. At the manor I met with Norman and Tia who graciously welcomed me and shared the rich history and significance of the manor. Soulgrave Manor is an ancestral home of George Washington in England. It's not the only one, it's the only one that substantially exists. Of course, the Washingtons first were in the north of England in a place that's now called Washington. They then moved halfway down England towards Lancashire before coming to Northamptonshire where Lawrence Washington um, was a farmer and subsequently a successful businessman and he built Soulgrave Manor. We have a John Washington in the 17th century. John's father was born at Selgrave Manor. John grew up during the English Civil War. The family, of course, were royalists, so when that Civil War finished, it wasn't a good time to be a royalist young man trying to make your fortune. So he gets involved in trade, and he ends up going across the Atlantic to Virginia with goods to trade there and his plan is to fill his ship with tobacco and return to London and make a fortune. Well it doesn't go to plan but John decides to stay in Virginia and he does extremely well there. He becomes a landowner member of the House of Burgesses, he rises up in the social levels and then into the 18th century John's great-grandson is born and that's George and the rest is history. Salgrove Manor was acquired uh, as a response to a peace committee how to celebrate a hundred years of peace between England and America um, after the Battle of New Orleans 1814. People said, well, there is this place in Northamptonshire, which is where George Washington's forebears lived for over a hundred years. We should acquire that. It was a symbolic gesture, and we should have that um, and run it, you might say, as almost a museum house. From the early days, it was greatly supported by the National Society of Colonial Dames of America, and they still are an enormous and much valued support today. 
fact that the house was stone built was, is important because uh, most houses in those days were wooden uh, with wattle and daub. So to have a substantial stone built house indicated his wealth and then the brick chimneys uh, even more so. We have very nice stone floors and wood uh, floors upstairs in the house. Some beautiful uh, wooden features, the beams in the ceiling in the great hall, all very lovely. The Washington coat of arms is displayed very proudly above the front door of the house. It shows three stars or mullets and two bars. Now it's very battle orientated. The coat of arms came into existence shortly after the Battle of Cressy in the 14th century. So one could presume that a Washington member had fought bravely in that battle, earned the right to carry arms and have a coat of arms. The stars or mullets are meant to remind us of the spurs of a mounted knight, of course knights in armour in those days, and the bars rivers of blood. Of course in battle, blood flows. So we have this, this coat of arms that remained uh, in the family and it does appear on George Washington's family seal. People from America, I think, will be interested because it is as much part of American history as it is part of British history. In fact, arguably, it's more part of um, American history because the Washingtons originated from Britain. Um, the H was at a time when the Virginia and the, and, and the colonies were British. Uh, through that, we can tell the whole story of uh, American independence. Uh, and also the background uh, of the people here who no doubt genetically contributed to making George Washington the man that he was to become. I hope you enjoyed that trip to Soulgrave Manor. I had a great time there. Before I went, I didn't really know what to expect and it turned out to be a truly special visit. I want to thank Norman and Tia again for their great hospitality. They do such a great job preserving that manor and the history that is there as well. If you're ever in London and you have a little bit of time to kill and extra time, take a train to Northamptonshire and definitely check out Soul Grave Manor. It's absolutely worth it to see where George Washington's family came from and, you know, just kind of think about what could not have been. Thank you for watching the vlog. If you haven't subscribed already, please click the subscribe button. And after you clicked it, there's a little bell icon next to it. If you click on the bell icon, you'll get notifications every time we upload a new video. So thanks again for tuning in today and I'll see you next time.